Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this lovely, um, I guess you could say it's a sunset eye makeup look. I used my NYX Ultimate Sh uh, Brights Shadow Palette. You can get this at Target. It's only like 17 bucks. Yeah, I used a ton of these shades. They're so pigmented and they're amazing. They blend so easily and I'm just loving this palette so far. I posted um, this selfie on Instagram the other day and a lot of people really wanted me to do a tutorial on it. So that's what I'm doing today. Yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and see how I got this look, go ahead and keep watching. Hi guys! Oh god. My focus never fucking works, bro. Okay, I think that's good. Y'all don't know how much trouble I have been having with uh, just filming in general. My camera kept giving out on me. Well, it was not necessarily my camera, it was my card. Like, I filmed a look twice and it just didn't come out. So I'm thinking it's maybe the gods telling me that this look is not worthy for YouTube or something like that. So, I don't know. So I don't know if I should do the look that I was originally going to film. This is the look that I originally wanted to film and I got a lot of good feedback on Instagram which I was really happy about because it's a really cool look. I don't really experiment with colors that much and now that I got the um, NYX Ultimate Brights palette I was like hell yeah I'm going to definitely um, use some colors. So that's the look that I was originally going to. Okay, so um, obviously I am priming my eyelids with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Lately I've been obsessing over this again. I like rediscovered it in my makeup kit. And I just feel like this is such a great eye base, especially if you're going to be using um, a ton of bright uh, colors. So now we are going to start off, of course, with our transition shade. I'm going to take a small blending brush, and the brush I will be using is by is by Wet n Wild. It came in one of their palettes, so it's a double-ended brush. It has like a flat synthetic brush, and then a really fluffy end. To start off with, I'm going to take this yellow shade right here. I decided I'm going to do the the picture I showed y'all. So. Really nice, it's a really nice look. I am going to take this into the crease, obviously. So, um, I'm definitely taking it into the inner part of my eye, and um, I'm mainly focusing it in the crease area but I am going to kind of blow it out just a little and I'm not too putting a ton of pressure on um, the brush so I'm just kind of like it's kind of floating over my eye but it's still touching it and that's what makes a good blend okay so ju I just took a little bit more of that yellow shade I'm just building it to the uh, to the intensity that I want. You're gonna want to take a fluffy brush. I'm taking my Morphe M five seven six brush, it's like this, and I I wiped it off, and I'm just going to just blend the edges. Okay, so that looks just about right. Now I am going to take that same um, Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to take a mixture of two colors. I'm going to be using this corally shade and this hot pink shade and I'm going to mix them. This color I'm mainly going to focus it in this area right here. So not trying to um, take it above the crease, try not to do that. It's way easier to build color rather than to take away color, so just keep that in mind. Is 
because I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more um, depth into the look. And by doing that, I'm going to use this red shade in the corner. I just take a eyeshadow brush, get some of that. And this is really going to just stay in that V area. So it's going to be in this area. And I'm just going to pack it on. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more red. And I'm going to just add some yellow up here. And for this area, the white area of my lid, I added this ColourPop uh, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Juicy Apple. It is their, it's part of their Hello Kitty collaboration. And it looks like this. It is such a beautiful color. Um, I don't even know how to explain it, honestly. I would say it's like translucent in a sense but it has like gold reflexes I don't know how to explain it but it's so pretty so I usually like to use my finger to apply it but my nails are so long that it's really hard for me to do that right now so I'm gonna just take a flat synthetic brush and hope that it applies it nicely gonna take it on my finger oh, what's going on down there I don't know if you can see that but it is so pretty I already did my other eye I applied um, lashes Remember, everything that I use will be listed in the down bar below. Now I'm going to do the rest of my eyes. So I'm taking that yellow color again. And I am running that all over my lower lash line. Don't be afraid to smoke out this shade. Since it is such a light shade, it's not going to look crazy or anything. I'm going to take just a regular eyeshadow brush, the one I was using earlier. I'm just gonna take that red color and I'm just going to keep it very close to the lash line and only at, at the outer portion. So just like how we did the top lid, we're gonna do that at the bottom as well. Make sure we want to connect it to the top. Just blend everything together. Yay! And I'm just taking this tiny little brush from Real Techniques. It's, I believe, their accent brush. And I'm just popping that in the inner tear duct. That's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes, but I'll do that off, off camera. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll show you guys the finished look in a minute, okay? All right guys, so this is the finished look. I just went ahead and did my bronzer and highlighter off camera because my camera is dying right now. I did my lips also off camera. Again, I've said this probably like 20 times in this video, but I will be listing everything that I used in this video in the down bar below so go ahead and check that out i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it subscribe guys thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video